welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And I am super excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you guys my most recently completed sketchbook. It has taken me quite a while to complete this, but I am really slow at finishing sketch sketchbooks, so I am really, really excited to show this with you guys. This is really, really thick, as you guys can see. For comparison, this is the new sketchbook that I bought to replace it. They're the same brand. You can see um, it's it's quite a bit thicker than the, than the new one. So this is both a sketchbook and an art journal. So there's a lot of stuff in here that is like mementos, things that I've stuck in. There's a lot of that. This isn't all just art, but there is a lot of art in here. So if you guys like art journaling, if you like sketching, if you want to see what is inside my big old book of memories from the past couple years, then let's go ahead and dive right into the sketchbook. So I started this sketchbook back in February of 2016, but it is definitely not in order. So this is from July um, of 2016. This stuff is completely out of order in the sketchbook because I went back and filled in pages that I skipped. So just so you guys know, there's a lot of stuff out of order here. So this is just a photo from my uncle's wedding of my whole family. Here's another photo. So this is the first image in the sketchbook that I actually drew. Um, it's just a little ink and watercolor sketch that says be kind to yourself and it's kind of a little bit of a self-portrait because I think we can all sometimes be a little too harsh on ourselves. So it's just a little reminder. So over here on the left I have a little art journal thing spread. Um, you'll see there's kind of a mix where some stuff has just been stuck in like this and other stuff is more detailed. This is what I like more and this is what I'm going to try to do in my new sketchbook because I, I just think it's, it's nicer. So anything that's kind of more detailed tends to be a little bit newer. But this is just a little pocket that I created that has my graduation exhibition postcard in there um, for when I graduated from my school. And then over here is another image that I did, kind of similar to the first one, um, but it's just a little watercolor pencil sketch and it says, you are not stupid. This is a page of stickers. <laughs> um, this is a quote from a Taylor Swift song. It says, I've never heard silence quite this loud. And again, it's in like a little watercolor and ink thing. And these were all done within like a week of each other. Like this is on the 28th, this one was on the 22nd, and this was somewhere in the middle, so. You can kind of tell I was going through some stuff <laughs> at that time. So this is actually one of the most recent pages because this was done on September 29th and this is where I want to go to more with my art journaling pages. So we went to Dead Man's Brew Fest in Colorado Springs. I went with my family and I got a bunch of stickers from the breweries there. But I decided to do the whole thing and I did drew like a skull and a really really bad compass and just kind of drew and doodled on it, like themed by the idea of like Dead Man's Brew Fest. Over here is my three marker challenge. I wanted to draw this in my sketchbook, um, but my sketchbook, it takes a lot of stuff well, but not so much Copic markers. It will bleed through a lot. Um, so I just stuck it in here because it's so small and I didn't want to lose it. Um, this says, feel the burn. This was from the Democratic primaries. There's a couple political things in here, so if you guys don't like politics, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna like go into it or anything though. Um, this is a portrait of my dog December, but I only had brown color pencils, <laughs> so it's all in brown and she is black and white. <laughs> so it doesn't really look like her. Even if it was in black and white, it doesn't really look that much like her, but it was drawn from life, so whatever. This is a little image I drew when Jellybee hit 50,000 subscribers over here on YouTube and now she has doubled that, so congrats to her. Okay, so here we have the sketch that I did for my video that was up just a couple weeks ago, the where I turned myself into my art with makeup. If you guys haven't seen that, I will put it in the little eye up here um, and link that so you guys can check it out. A lot of these images have been in videos. This is a sketch that I did at this luncheon that I had to go to and I had like an hour or two to kill. I hadn't brought any art supplies with me but I did have the sketchbook so I did this with highlighters and a ballpoint pen. It was just like stuff that I found in my purse and it was just a little self-portrait of what I was wearing that day. So this is just another kind of scrapbook thing or whatever. It's just the invitation and the program for my friend Molly's wedding to her husband Taylor. So this again, some more scrapbooky pages. 
This is a like wrapper from like a chocolate bar that my uh, co-worker Karen brought for me from England. And then this is kind of, this started, so this page started as a sketch page and I had been drawing this like pattern and I just never finished it and I was getting frustrated with it so I ended up putting this stuff in here which was from Easter Sunday uh, in 2017. So as you can tell, big jump here. And these are just like photo booth pictures from the brunch that I went to with my sisters. And it was also my sister Nadia's birthday. So here, and again, more scrapbooky pages. This is a thank you card from Molly. And then this is my little page about my graduation. So um, it has like my degree, and then it has, um, I cut these out of the program, which is basically like the little art that I submitted for the program. Now we have some drawings. I know you guys are like, heck yeah, Alice, it's a sketchbook. Why isn't there any art? Um, over here is an unfinished watercolor um, of like a tree and stuff. I just never got around to finishing it. I drew this little pink elephant while I was working the like front desk at the art gallery when I worked for 40 West Arts District. I think it's cute. I didn't really know what to draw so I drew a pink elephant. So next I have some sketch pages on this cool kind of brown color. So I drew these guys first and these don't have a date but this is back in early 2017. I drew this on October 1st. So this was actually the last sketch that I drew in my sketchbook. So I'll talk about these first. These are just little kind of character sketches, practicing faces, practicing styles. One thing that you can do is I drew these on paper and then I put the watercolor on afterwards. And the reason I did that was because the graphite was smudging to the page next to it. So if you draw in graphite and then you very carefully apply watercolor over the top, then it will seal in that graphite and it won't smudge. I mean, it might, no, nope, I didn't get anything. It's like, it might if you like really rub at it, but it won't transfer over to the next page. So that's a really, really useful tip for sketchbooks. And then continuing that theme of the brown, I drew this little sketch of my sister Nadia. It's not really her, like it's not supposed to look like her. It was just, she was in this position, so I drew her real quick so that I could finish the sketchbook. And this is watercolor pencil. So the next page we have a postcard from Cadbury World in England of summer 2016 and then I have this little watercolor sketch that I still like super super love <laughs> um, I still really like this sketch like I think it's so pretty over here this is from Denver Comic Con 2017 I found it in a book that I bought so I stuck it in here because I thought it was like really cool looking and then this is a little sketch from life at Cooper Smith's on the 4th of July back in 2016. I was hanging out with my friend Emily. We did some art. Again, just I wish I'd done more with these art journal pages. But this is just from the Q World, like Botanical Gardens. It's just a, uh, from a paper bag. This is a sketch of my character Tilly. That She was my main character for my thesis. Um, I have a whole video about my thesis and I talk about like my comp my sketchbook and stuff so I will link that again in the little I. But this is her grown up. So this is just a bunch of sketches of some of my followers and one of my friends. Um, I did this thing on Instagram where I was like tag me and I'll sketch you. And then this is some more. Um, so that was like a really fun exercise. I should definitely do that again maybe to start out the new sketchbook. So these pages are actually not from the same place, although you'd think they would be. They're from the same trip, but this is from when I was in England again. This is a postcard from York, and this is a little sketch I did from life in Ashby de la Zouche, which was um, a town like basically right where we were staying, and it's just such a great name for a town. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I thought it was like a cute little house, store, building, so I drew it. Okay, so more sketches from England. Uh, this is from Sherwood Forest, little postcard, and then all these sketches. Um, so this is from Sherwood, it's a tree, um, and then these are actually from Rutherford Abbey. Abbey. I'm having a really hard time speaking right now. And they're swans, I think? Swans or geese? Um, more sketches from England, again, these are all mixed up. So these are from Kew Gardens in the aquarium. It's a stripy copper band butterfly fish and a clown cucumber. This is a super kind of close up detail of a uh, major oak and I always meant to put watercolor on this, but I just never did. It just looks like a bunch of hash marks, but I swear it's a tree. So over here is some contra contraband that I illegally smuggled into the country. Um, this is from Sherwood Forest. It's a some like feathers, that's what these are called, feathers that I found and a leaf. 
definitely not supposed to bring botanical matter from uh, one country into another, so um, please don't harass me! And then this is a rubbing that I took um, at Sherwood Forest. One of the things I do like to do in my sketchbook, if possible, is take rubbings of raised things because I think it's a really cool way to remember stuff. Um, this was actually a plate for rubbings, so that was really cool. It's the green man and yeah, I like this. More, 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 more sketches from England. So more from the Kew Gardens. I think this was my little sticker to like get in, like they put on your shirt, but um, more just like... Uh, botanical sketches. And then this was a sketch I started in the castle at Ashby de la Zouche, but I just never finished it. We had to leave and I never ended up finishing it. So postcard from Twy Cross Zoo. Um, <laughs> the beginnings of a sketch of a black-headed spider monkey, but that never got finished. Um, this was kind of a little sketch of the window and door detailing at Yorkminster, which is the cathedral in York. Um, oh, I love this. I like the way these two pages look next to each other. This is just a postcard from the Five Senses exhibition, which I was in and my friend Mandy was in as well. Um, and that was back in April of 2017. And then this was kind of, this was in Yorkminster as well. So I did the sketch back in 2016 um, in July when I was in England. And then I actually added the ink and the watercolor almost a full year later actually. But I really love how this came out. I was working entirely from memory because I didn't have a photo anymore. So memory and the sketch, but I think it came out pretty cool to be honest. These next two sketches were also done at Kew Gardens. I was trying to practice sketching quickly and getting the sort of gesture or the feel of what I was sketching. I sketched a lot in England. I tend to sketch a lot more when I'm on trips than when I'm at home. This I never got to finish. It was going to be a house, so it doesn't really look like a whole lot, but I love this little pagoda sketch. And these were all sketched with watercolor pencil, but I never went back and like added water. I just liked them how they were. More stuff from Kew Gardens, so tulip tree leaf, um, I got this off some pajamas I bought and I just put it in there. Um, more stuff, and this was from my uncle's wedding, um, a little like place, a little place card for my table. So this is another two postcard pages, this is from 40 West Arts District, and this one is actually really cool, this is from the I Heart Music Exhibition in Kettering. Um, and my grandfather was actually like involved in recording, he owned a recording um, studio. So they had this whole exhibition and they had news articles about my grandfather in it. It wasn't like about him, but like he, like there was a little section that like talked about him and, and um, the recording studio and uh, some of the bands and stuff like that. And it was really, really cool. So I kept that because, you know, it's my granddad and he was a cool cat. So, uh, more Kew Gardens. This was a, a postcard. I liked it. I thought it was pretty. This is a little attempt at a comic that I did when I was having a very bad day. It says, slept through alarm, late to class, forgot about paperwork. I don't know what the thump is. I think I might have, like, dropped my phone on the floor. I don't know. But 12 p.m. I'm already in a blanket fort crying. I did not adult well today. So next I have this. I was trying to come up. I really wanted to do these little comics about like me and December's lives. So I was like trying to figure out ways to draw it. So this is me in the bathtub and December's like, Bob? Because she wants to play fetch no matter what. All the time. Um, this was a little sketch I did at Four Collins Comic Con that I then stuck in here because it was just like on a random loose leaf piece of paper. It's Nani. I really like this sketch. Uh, I don't have anything to say about these two pages. Um, these are stickers from a brewing company in Denver. This was a cool, I kind of liked this picture. I think I posted this on Instagram. Um, I was sick, uh, so I drew myself being sick and wearing my fav favorite Hogwarts sweater because it's cozy. This is a colorful little spread. So over here we have another rubbing, which was done at the Denver Art Museum with uh, my friend Emily on Alice and Emily's Day of Fun. Um, if you get that reference, post it down below. And then this was a sketch that I did with my mom from life when we were out on a hike. So over here I just have a bunch of tickets um, from, I went to go see the Awkward Family Photos exhibit with my friend Miranda, Moana, Beauty and the Beast, and Ed Sheeran. I went to see Ed Sheeran actually in August, that was really cool. 
Um, this was a sketch that I was doing for a sketch with me video, but you only saw like the very end of it because it wasn't recording the whole way. So then I drew like this weird witch thing, which I think is on the next page. So then once I realized that things weren't filming, I did like a scribble challenge and it turned into this sort of monstrosity. It's a witch! And then over here is the program for my sister's first play. I was so, so, so proud of her. She was in Noises Off. She was a poppy. She was a poppy. Her character was poppy. So proud of my little sister. Uh, so the next spread is just a bunch of little things. Um, stickers from Rocket Fizz. Um, I stuck this in when I was filming my What's in My uh, What's in My Travel Sketch Bag video. My friend Vicky sent me a letter with a Bellatrix stamp. Um, this was a note that Zyra Banya sent me. She was my secret Santa um, through the Ytex Secret Santa. This is from when I met Monique Renee here on YouTube. We met in October of 2016 and I guess we went to Pablo's Coffee. And this is again from Alice and Emily's Day of Fun! So this is a little sketch of me and like what I was wearing that day. This is like one of my favorite shirts to wear in the winter. Then a weird little doodle of a witch and a little doodle of graveyard girl. Um, some people were commenting in my video where I like do my uh, face or whatever and they were like, oh my god, swamp cream palette. Yes, swamp fam. This is another picture from the from my uncle's wedding. Um, this is me and my sisters minus Lindsay. I don't know where Lindsay was. This is a little witchy sketch that I did. This is a, this was a little kind of fall speed paint video. I still love this picture. I think it came out so cute and I still remember doing it. It was just such a nice day. More from Alice and Emily's Day of Fun. Um, postcard I got at the Denver Art Museum. Trying to figure out anatomy over here. It's hard. Um, a zero calorie brownie that Miranda gave me. Um, this was from the Women's March in 2017. It says Descent is Patriotic. Um, State Fair. I went to the State Fair with my friend Mandy and we saw Hunter Hayes. And a little sketch of a witchy. Lots of witchy sketches. Okay, so this is the most political page, so I'm really sorry if you hate politics, just skip ahead. Um, but I drew this on the day that our current president was elected, and this video is being filmed in 2017, so that is Donald J. Trump. I wasn't happy about it. And I express that through art because I think that art is a very therapeutic thing for everyone to do regardless of who you are or what you believe. I think art is so therapeutic and it was the best way for me to cope with the emotions that I was feeling on that day. And then over here, um, I was really trying to figure out what to put next to this because, you know, it's like grayscale. It's the girl mourning in front of the American flag, you know, it's like, it's very dramatic. So I was like, I need to put something next to it that like kind of works with it. And then my little sister, Nadia, who I mentioned in the previous play, was in a play called Unexpected Tenderness. And this was uh, actually really impactful on me and it was a very, very hard play to watch um, because it's about domestic violence. So I got to see my little sister basically be a victim of domestic violence or what it would be like if she was a victim of domestic violence. So it was really hard to watch, but it felt like a good thing, like, a, like an appropriate match. But um, so I put her program up here and then I wrote some facts about domestic violence down below which is one in three women will experience domestic violence and it's one in three women and one in four men um, will experience domestic violence in their lives. Um, domestic violence is the leading cause of injury to women aged 15 through 44. Girls and young women aged 16 to 24 experience dating violence at a rate almost triple the national average and one in five women have been the victim of a rape or attempted rape. Um, this is an issue that's very close to my heart, but this is a depressing spread, so let's move on. Oh my god, look how much happier the next pages are! So, uh, moving on. So this is just the little, like, invitation to my friend Molly's bridal shower. And then this is a little Christmas spider, and he's in his little web, and he has a little tree. So this is kind of brainstorming for a painting idea that I had, slash still have, I guess. I just have never created it. And more brainstorming and just random gesture sketchy doodle type things. Again, more art journaling pages. This is really what I want to be doing. But this was from my friend Mandy, aka Bulletproof Beauty. I've mentioned her a couple times. And if you follow my vlogs, you know who she is. I actually have a vlog of this night, but this was for her 26th birthday. And we went to the casino and Blackhawk and it was a whole hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> so this side, I have some a ticket and a sticker from when I went to go see um, this band called Atomga, 
with my friend Alicia. Her, her boyfriend is in this band, so it was pretty fun. It was a really good night. And then this is the sketch that's in my top 10 tips for aspiring artists video. Apparently, this looks like Sombra from Overwatch. It's not. I, I don't... Is Overwatch a game? I don't play games. This is the next page. Um, on the left is, again, some more tickets. Um, this was... I went to the, the train concert and they threw, like, playing cards in the air, so I got one. And then this is a quote that I wrote in here and kind of tried to letter. I'm not very good at hand lettering, but I tried. It says, I'm writing a new part of my story, something so new and untouched by all the chapters before. I deserve new. I deserve surprises. I've outgrown my storyline of old, and so let life be fresh because I'm ready for a new adventure. I saw it on Tumblr, and I really liked it. Um, these were, again, more like gesture sketches, just still trying to figure out anatomy. I feel like every time I draw somebody, they just come out really short and stocky. I don't understand. Um, little sketch of a girl with a cigarette, and she's not wearing a top. I don't know, but I like it. Uh, I found this feather when I was whitewater rafting on my 27th birthday, and I stuck it in here, and my sister Elena took this picture of me, and I put that in there too. I actually think this is a really cute page, so I like it. This is clearly uh, me brainstorming for my one marker challenge. This was way back at the beginning of the year. I'm um, just kind of trying to figure out thumbnails and figure out how I was going to layer up the marker and stuff like that. And yeah, I liked the, the, the way that everything came out though. More little sketches, another postcard from um, 40 West. I have lots of 40 West postcards in here. More little sketches. And then this guy, which I, I really, really like. I think this came out really pretty. So I'd drawn this forever ago, and then I actually just went and finished it recently, and I used the Arteza brush pens again, and like added water to them, and, and really like melded them into each other, and I thought the colors came out so pretty. So this is the view from my old balcony um, at my apartment in Fort Collins. So I also like this spread, I think the colors look nice together. These were just, again, more gesture sketches, and then I added this kind of color over the top to tie them in and also to kind of cover some of the bleed through from this page. And this was the sketch that I did in my Arteza video where I tested out a bunch of Arteza supplies. Spoiler alert, I liked pretty much all of them. More tickets! Um, this is from another movie night with Lisa. There's like three of them in here. Um, a sketch of somebody brushing their hair. I actually like this sketch. I think it's pretty cute. And then this was the painting that I did in my portable painter video way back when. I feel like this was forever ago. Um, I love the portable painter, man. Portable painter is awesome. Uh, this again was from my Arteza video. This was a really, really crappy sketch with like broken arms and bad anatomy, but then I, I, I just put watercolor over it and called it done. More stuff that I filmed. This was for a sketch with me. I have a lot of this stuff that has been filmed. So you guys have seen a lot of this already if you're if you're a follower of my channel. And then stickers from my visit to Durango this summer. So this is from my Junicorn sketch with me. I still think this is so cute. And then this is a sketch that I did at Mesa Verde and I don't know why I never dated this. I'm like actively annoyed with myself. <laughs> um, but these were uh, the one, some of the cliff, cliff dwellings at Mesa Verde, but we weren't actually able to go down into these ones, but I did have a little bit of time to sit and sketch, and then I finished it off with watercolor and watercolor pencil a little bit later. This is more stuff from my trip to Durango. Like I told you guys, I sketch so much more when I'm on trips than when I'm at home. It's like so much harder for me to motivate myself to sketch at home. I don't know why. But uh, this was, again, a postcard from the Cliff Dwellings. I really like getting postcards as like mementos and souvenirs because I can just stick them in my sketchbook. I have a memory of it. They're cheap and they're usually really, really beautiful. Sticker and then this little sketch I did of this guy that was restoring the sandstone. And then they also have these stamps for like postcards and stuff. So I stamped those in there. This is another sketch from Mesa Verde. It's of Coyote Village and it was like um, kind of one of the... Oh gosh, I don't remember what they're called and I don't want to call it a pit because it's not a pit. It's like a house. But. And then some more random stuff. This was from my birthday lunch. It was the uh, obviously a coaster. This is a petal from Monique Grenet's wedding bouquet when she got married. And a sticker from Glossier. Or Glossier. So this is from Monique Grenet's wedding as well. This was her wedding uh, favor. And they were wrapped in this pretty burlap. It says Austin Monique. Um, I chose to stick my steeds, steeds, 
I chose to stick, stick my seeds in my sketchbook because I have a brown thumb and I would kill them and this way I can remember it and also it makes my sketchbook rattle. Shake it, ah, 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 shake it, ah, 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 shake it like a Polaroid picture. This was the sketch for my favorite art supplies video and then I transferred it to watercolor paper and finished it there but for the sketch in here I put again um, pencil, watercolor pencil over the top so that it wouldn't transfer. Okay, so over here is my invitation to Momo's wedding. Um, I just stuck that in there because it was really pretty. And then this was my first test, test of the Touch New Markers, um, which obviously this paper isn't super great on markers and this sketch is like really bad as well, but it was a fun little test. I don't know. I was kind of like very freeing. That sounds weird, but... So over here on the other side of this guy, since this bled through so much, I decided to do a gouache image on the back to kind of cover up the bleed through. And I just drew this like kind of girl and it was just kind of experimenting with fun colors and a different style and uh, kind of inspired by Audra Eclair a little bit. I just, I don't know, I really, really like this actually. I think it's a unique part of my sketchbook. And this is just me testing out my gouache new paints. So side by side I have a art journal page and a sketch. So the art journal page is of Macbeth. I went to go see Macbeth with Mandy aka Bulletproof Beauty very very recently, September 23rd. This was from the program so I just stuck it in here and kind of did some paint and then put the um, tickets in and yeah it, it was a really weird play. <laughs> it was It was very strange. That's like the only thing I can say. It was good, but it was strange. And then over here I have my gouache painting that I did for my seven ways to fill a sketchbook, um, which is called electric by the way. All right. And then over here I have this kind of painting, which is super simple and it's of the eclipse. Um, I didn't draw this the day of the eclipse. I drew this cause I was gonna stick these on it. Like it was basically supposed to be a backdrop for my solar glasses and then I didn't like feel like they fit on it at all like in a, in a good way so I put them down here and I just left this by itself because it's kind of pretty and it's like shiny and stuff and then so down here I have the eclipse glasses a little sketchery do in red and then uh, my name tag from the British expat meetup at the Golden Bee Clara Springs expat meetup which I went to with my mama and then you guys have seen this before. This was in a more recent video. This was kind of a preliminary sketch for um, a larger piece that I might do. Uh, this is, um, the video is like a Q&A, so it was kind of like answering your questions. And then this is the last page of my sketchbook. So February 16th to October 17th, and it says the end, and then I made it colorful. And that is it, that is my whole sketchbook. So as you guys can see, my sketchbook is not perfect by any means. It is messy. Like there's there's like finished pieces in here and then there's just pages of tickets and stickers and, and, and things. And then there's just like loads of like little sketches and stuff that's not finished. You know, my sketchbook isn't perfect. So for me, my sketchbook is a sketchbook. It's an art journal and it's a diary. You know, it's a place to make notes and it's a place to make messes and it's a place to make things I'm really proud of. But most importantly, it's a place to be me. And I would encourage all of you to figure out what works for you in your sketchbook. You know, be you. Let your sketchbook be a place to express yourself and don't let anyone tell you that you're expressing yourself wrong. Everyone's sketchbook is going to be different because everyone is different. So yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this little sketchbook tour. I am super excited to get started on my new sketchbook. Okay, so if you guys liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, it really does help me out. And if you liked it enough to want to subscribe, then come join the Wonderland fam today. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I do upload new videos every single Friday. And yas, uh, you guys don't even know how hard this video was to record. I have fumbled over my words so many times, so I am going to end it now and maybe go draw something for Inktober. So thanks for watching and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys! Okay, but seriously, like...
can we just appreciate my nails right now? Look at that hollow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And there's a mandala on my thumb. Ooh,